hello guys what's going on welcome to another exciting video in today's video we'll be learning how to color grade using shortcut so without much talking let's look at what to be color grading today Yes, so let's jump right into the PC and get into Shortcut. Now, as you can see in Shortcut, I have already imported the clip I'll be editing. If you can't import files in Shortcut or if you can't add filters, this video might not really be for you. But if you can import files in Shortcut and add filters mm -hmm. yeah you, you can do this so let's just continue so i have already imported my videos now as you can see if your shortcut is not looking like mine you can just always come over here and then um, go to your tuba and then um, just select any of these um panels like this is the editing panel but today we are color grading so let's go to the color so now we have already imported our footages now i made this here just to make sure i have um a backup in case this one uh, gets spot so let's just click the one we want to use and add filter to it let's take the color grading yes so as you can see this is what we are going to mainly use to give our video that look you just saw. So um, for the shadows, we want to take the shadow to the blue part. Just towards this part should be okay. To the blue, I think somewhere around this place. Let's see. let's see you can you can also change these numbers let's give it a minus 20. yeah so this is the look we want for it so we can see something around this place and this is the shadow now the shadow is giving the video that blue look so what we want to do next now is to make sure the skin comes out and to do that we need to play with the mid-tones which is these we could play with these let's look at these i need to just kind of play with these then you can also as you can see the skin is already coming back a little bit so you can change the red percentage to 12.5 now this will depend totally on the video you have and the green let's just change it to minus 13.4 then this should be minus 32.2 percent okay this is the exact figures that i used for um the video so you can also use that in your own video and um as you can see this is between the yellow and the red and that is where the skin color most at times falls between yellow and red <laughs> hardly will you see a skin color that is blue or green no 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 it's always between yellow and red so that's where the mid-tones are then for the highlight we'll just be taking the gain we don't really take the gain up. We don't really need to change the color of the highlight. So let's take the gain up a little bit. I think 5.2 should be okay. Yeah. So the next thing we're going to be doing is to add a white balance. So to add a white balance, we also need to come back to this plus and search for it. White. Yes. 
press your enter key and here we have a white balance for this i'll be decreasing it all the way down to give it that warm look we want so this is the before this is the after so it has given it a little bit of that warm look we don't want it to be too much on this footage just want a little bit of that warm look let's go to the let's add another color grading filter on the color grading okay and this time around what we'll be doing is to increase the mid-tones i told you earlier that the mid-tones for this particular footage falls the mid-tones for this particular footage falls um, in the skin so that is what we'll just be increasing for this let's just take it up a bit let's take it up let's see somewhere around this place yeah as you can see it has recovered a lot of the of the of the of the, of the skin and um, this is the before and this is the after the skin is coming back the skin color is coming back so yeah thing then the next thing we'll be adding to this footage is a hue saturation and um, lightness filter which you can just come here and also search hue now for this we're going to be increasing the saturation we're going to be giving it more colors and also maybe maybe change the hue a bit to let, let's give it that let's give it a more magenta-ish kind of look so um for that we'll just come over here and take okay minus okay 97 that's the minus 3 97 should be good then saturation we can just increase it way up i think 145 okay yeah as you can see we're done that's how i was able to color grade this footage and you can see the before and this is the after so that was how i was able to get that look that you just saw as you can see there are two clips here so in the next in the next video i'll be teaching you how to color grade how i was able to color grade this next clip with that being said if you enjoyed what you just so make sure to like hit the like button and see you in the next video if you've not subscribed make sure to subscribe to get notified when next i'm going to be color grading this next footage over here that's all for today's video bye